Alright guys, welcome back to another Evil GT video. I am Ben, Lee's currently busy in his other business, but he did say that he's going to be here later on. I'm with the lads here at MTS in Warrington. They do custom interiors, bespoke interiors, and they're going to look after us with the back of our B7 RS4. So for those who may not have followed this channel from the beginning, we've had this B7 RS4 since 155,000 miles. It's now done 165,500. She's still going strong. She's been to Marbella and back. We've had her about two years. Now what we want to do is look after it. As you can see with the interior, we've got the wing backs in with the vibe belts, yellow seat belts, which should match when they're clean. These ones are definitely not clean, but they should match. The calipers, so inside, black wing backs. I put the black roof lining in, which is still there, amazingly. We're obviously in the back, and it's all been that horrible grey colour, so these boys are gonna make everything black for us. As you guys well know, me and Lee are pure professionals. We're professionals at everything we do. I have my seat removing certificate, as you can see. The seats were already out of the car, so I saved our friends, Caesar and Julian, a job taking the seats out to begin with. But what I'm definitely gonna do is leave the technical work to Julian there. So what he's got to do first and foremost is take the original covers off, unpick them, unstitch them and use them for the patterns on the new seats, on the new seat covers so we can cut out the correct shapes and they should fit perfectly just like these ones do. So there you go, now the cover's off. Julian's got the cover off and what he's going to do now is unpick all of the stitching so he's got the actual panels individually that will be able to mark out on the new leather. But also what you don't really realise is there's like plastic trim pieces that stick into clips that obviously make the cover sit nice and tight on the actual phone. That looks like a massive job, something that me and Lee definitely wouldn't have the patience for. That's the first seat, unpicked, unstitched. I gave uh, Julian a little bit of help there getting all of the bits out. Nice, clean, then ready for the pattern. So the high is gonna go down on this big table. These will all get laid out flat and then they'll get uh, drawn around and then cut out of the leather hide. Once that's done, they also need to be double backed with foam. As you can see, these are made a little bit thicker with this foam on, so they'll be stitched to the back of all the new leather as well. So Julian now is just using a bit of waxing away, a little plug for you there, James, mate. Bit of waxing away HD leather cleaner on the hide. As you can see, he's marking off bits where there's imperfections, so you can see that crease there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, you can see that little bit there. You can see that one's quite bad there, holes in the, the hide. Is this normal? This is how the hides usually come, yeah? Well, uh, yes, sometimes they can like better than this. Well, sometimes you worse, about but, it. Yeah, it's nothing we can do because, you know, sometimes it's like uh, natural scratches yeah. from cows. And I mean, that could have been caught on like a barbed fence or, a, or something like that on his skin, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. But you'll know where now to, to mark your patterns around those imperfections. Julian, what do you reckon, mate? Can I have a go? What? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Does that mean I now have my interior certificate? Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Go yeah. on, let's have a look. How bad is it? You've done a great job. Almost a professional. Almost a professional, yeah. Look at that. I need to pay you now. Yeah. <laughs> I need to pay you. Put it off the bill, please, mate. Is that okay? <laughs> Come on, what's your verdict? My verdict about you? Well... Have I got a job? Yeah, we. you do a great job. <laughs> For the first time, I've so. not I've not sewn it yet. I mean, I'm definitely not going to yeah, sew this. Yeah, but you're going to do it. But you're I'll have do a go on yeah, a scrap piece. Definitely. So next little bit, what I probably not a lot of people realise is on the back of the leather, there's a bit of foam. There's like a foam padding. So that's what all of this is here. So Julian's going to sew the foam padding to the new piece of leather. sewn everything together, ready to go back on the seat. So we do one seat at a time so that we don't get any panels mixed up and on different seats and missing and all that kind of stuff. But we're getting there. Is this where you sort of like offer it up and go, oh yeah, sound like fits? Yeah, 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 I try to make it fit like a glove. starting to come together now you've got the grey stitching in there which will match the front obviously this looks a lot different because it's much newer but that there is looking amazing so as you can see it's nearly 20 to 6 
and the seat is that far, or one of them. Can't do this bit yet, because that bit is technically that panel, and we haven't got the bit that you need to emboss the RS4 in yet, so that's gonna have to stay to the end. I'll show you the bit that I mean, so it looks a little bit like this. Obviously this is the Porsche one, so they're just waiting for that to come. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go home. It's nearly six o'clock anyway. I'm gonna get off then, so I'll see him tomorrow, and hopefully we can crack on with a bit more progress. Alright guys, welcome back. Day two. Now after the tuition I got from Julian yesterday on the other bit, I'm going to have a go at the headrest on my own, just picking it apart, seeing if I can make the pattern from it, and then I'll let Julian put it back together, but I might have a little go. That was how quickly I give up. <laughs> we talking about patience just yesterday, mate. Right? I have no patience whatsoever. But that's tight that, it makes you wonder how they actually get them on. Ridiculous. So I was saying to you before about custom interiors, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. So although our car is just going to have like a bit of a plain, boring, black factory finish, this is all completely bespoke RS honeycomb with the honeycomb stitch, all contrast stitching, Alcantara everywhere. I mean, look at them door cards. And this is the kind of thing that you boys can do, isn't it? Yes. Same with the boot, Alcantara everywhere, contrast stitch. So the plan is eventually, once I've got enough money, which is going to be a long way off, but the plan is eventually to do something kind of similar with the RS3. Maybe not go as wild, but definitely get some contrast green stitching in, Alcantara headline and stuff like that. That's the plan anyway, so uh, watch this space. Hi, right, mate. What have you got the camera for? Yeah, make yourself useful. I'm not in this video. Make yourself useful. I'll turn straight in now, guys. Hey, I'm busy here. Grafting. Look, I've even got the time lapses going up there. Look, right, mate. Don't make out that you've done everything. I've done loads, mate. I'm getting well involved. Look, I've cut my finger and everything. Look at that. War wound. This is what I do for my beloved B7. <laughs> So, I have to say it, Go on. to add to all your other certificates, now you've got, I mean, what is this class class, because you can do the seat belts now, yeah. I mean, what is, you're a, an upholsterer. I, I mean, you know, upholsterer. surely taking some staples out of this here, that must mean that I'm pretty much qualified. I mean, look at the speed, the speed and accuracy in which I'm pulling these staples out of here. There's no end to the oh. skill and technique, do you know what I mean? Some information for you. <laughs> That's right. fine, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll let you steal me thunder. Can you see all these little holes here? I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Right, anyway, there's a load of little holes there. Do you know what happens at? That's where the hairs of the cow was. The hairs? The hairs of the cow, right? <laughs> the hairs of the cow. Right, come on. This is what happens when This is what happens when you try and repeat what somebody else has told you. But they will smooth over. <laughs> Right. They will smooth over when you've sat in it a few times, or in your case, farted a few times. Right, just before we go, this is a Tuesday night, yeah. 6 o'clock. Yeah. Just before we go, we're going to do some sewing. Well, obviously, I've already got my sewing certificate from Vibe Belts, haven't I? So I'm going to get my sewing certificate now from MTS, so I can do webbing, seat belt webbing, and I'm going to be able to do levers. Now, obviously, I would, I would usually set my own machine up, but because, you know, this particular one, I've not seen before, so I thought I'd let Julian set it up. Right, I can see one problem with the sewing machine. What? Well, the problem you're not going to be able to use it because that seat's too small. For nah, you. well, you know. You need a bigger one, though. No, 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 it's fine, that, mate. Don't you worry about it. Listen, so I'm deceiving. No, 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 I'm deceivingly tall. It's you that just takes the piss out of me. Deceivingly tall? Yeah, you're about eight foot. No. I'm seven foot two. You're right. about eight foot. Now you're tall, mate. Now you're tall. Right. You're a giant now. You don't Back here? Yeah, you need to put pressure just when you're starting. You have to put the leather straight. Follow. Yeah? Follow, to and follow the, this margin. This is just going to. Yeah, it's going to yeah, pull just it through. for start for yeah. few. Like one, two, three, yeah, three. No, 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 just stop. Take this hand from here, put it here. Here? Yeah, and press. Oh, on the pedal? To go press up the pedal. No, no, press here, like. Press the pedal, <laughs> pop, 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 Oh, so oh, it goes okay, backwards, so it goes back. Ah, oh, now I see. And now, yeah, <laughs> and now you can go. All the way down? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's, Got you. that's the reverse. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the reverse, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like just need to be like the, the, the beginning of the stitching stronger and then. He knows you this. Press, press, press. The reverse. Don't, don't forget. <laughs> don't Come on. That's the end. Yeah. Can you explain what you're doing? Mate, not really, no. But this is um, this is a double stitching machine, right? So this is the one that gives you your the stitch either side of the main stitch in the middle. So obviously this is the hidden stitch, and then we're doing a top double stitch. Right. Go, go, go. Take it 
Tell you what, mate, it's looking good. <laughs> Get up. Well, oh, not, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Oh, not anymore. Stop. Oh, you messed that up. <laughs> you messed that up. Oh, why is he not, you why is he not going through? <laughs> Look how good that was up until oh, that yeah. point there. Turn that printer off. Smash that. <laughs> well, mate. Do you know what? You well, tried your best. This is what happens when a professional doesn't have a professional equipment. I've been sabotaged. He's already <laughs> coming up with the excuses. <laughs> <isn't> <laughs> he? he's, he's trying to say it's ran out. I mean, I'm not trying I mean, to say that. I mean, Julian's just told me that this little contraption underneath here is no, run out. Mate, nah. Just no, saying. Mate. So wrapping up now for day two, I've boxed off the headrest. That's pretty much all split up and, and the pattern's ready to be cut out or whatever, marked out. Julian there, my apprentice, yeah. he's doing the uh, the bench, the bottom bit, sorted. I've took a little bit off here. I had my work sabotaged on the sewing machine over there. How many more days do you reckon from this point? Uh, maybe around three days. Three more days? Yeah. You better get working, mate. <laughs> I'm too tired. Another, another 4 a.m. finish. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> Always late this guy, always late. Day three, back at MTS. Lee's here to give me a hand. I've seen that there's a pile of work for me to do and I know exactly what I need to do with all this. So I'm gonna get the scissors and get trimming. So Benji is always moaning about how late I am. I'm not late, he's just early. And I've got my new coat on today because it's actually raining. All right, all right mate, what are you doing there? Hey, all I heard was new coat. Have you got a new coat on? So you might think why are we actually filming putting uh, the leathers on the car, but this is actually quite educational because I want you to tell me why is there little slits in the, in the leathers here? See that? So my friend I yep. can tell you exactly what that's for so that's to help to line up the panels so the notches I don't know which you know I've not took it apart but Julian will know but basically you see the notches there and the notches there so you would line them up and that's how you know that they're bang on but I'll tell you what you do have to do right so with these bits you've got to keep the skizzers on an angle yeah yeah why is that because you don't want excess over the edge so you just doing this so that when you when you see it and you cut it see how it's on a on an angle in there right. you're nearly there with your certificate honestly honestly so here's another bit i professionally prepared earlier and julian now is just laying out the bits so he knows exactly where everything goes what's getting stitched to what right yeah. like a jigsaw puzzle <laughs> Stitching on, what we say? Well, all I can say is you didn't do it, did you? I didn't do that, no, because when you know, I could have done it, but it, mine, mine got sabotaged. <laughs> bit a little bit of a snag here because what I didn't really realise was that all of the plastic trim on these back seats is actually still a horrible grey this colour. They're going to look weird now being on the black seats with all the black leather as you can see. I'm going to try and paint them and I don't know exactly how that's going to look, how that's going to come out. So we're going to test it on that little easy bit first. I think it's like that plasty, you know, the plasty paint stuff that you can peel off. I'm going to try it, see what it looks like. But first of all, I'm going to clean it with a bit of tar and glue remover. I'm going to try that bit of Yanni's tar and glue remover and then I'm going to dry them off and see See what it looks like. First time I've ever rattled canned anything. Now bearing in mind the plastic bit underneath wasn't perfect. There was like scuff marks on it. I don't know if you can see them just in the corner there. We're, we're testing it anyway. We're going to see what it's like. I mean it looks better than grey anyway. So that's the first time, genuinely, at 33 years old, that I've ever actually rattle canned anything. I reckon, I don't know what you guys think, but I think that's come out all right. That actually looks like a brand new factory to me. I mean, that's not perfect, because it's obviously been scratched up and stuff. That's not perfect, because that's been scratched up and stuff. But as black goes, it looks good. I'm well happy with that. So what I'm probably going to do now, Julian, I'm sorry to tell you, mate, is go home. Because there's nothing else I can do now, is there really? Yeah. You're still stitching the seats together at the bottom. I'm yeah. putting the, the clip sort of guide rail little thingies, stitching all that in. That's still going to be taken apart, so I may as well leave you to it. Yeah, you can do it if you want. Thanks, mate. Day four, how good does that look? Now, obviously, the best bits are the bits that I've painted black here. Look at that, that bit of black there. They look, with the contrast grey stitching, that looks absolutely amazing. Even the side bolsters have been done as well, look. Obviously, with help from me, of course. So it looks like overnight, because these boys are like nocturnal, they work throughout the night. But it looks like they've got the back, the double split bit, where the armrest goes, and it looks like they've got that off there. I mean, I'm no expert, but I reckon I could probably start unpicking this, getting it ready for them to make a pattern out of. So Julian has said that this is the next job, 
to pick apart. However, he needs to be here really so that you can see exactly what bits go where and like little panels like that that you might see on its own and you might not know that that's exactly where that goes. So not really much I can do. So progressing along nicely, Julian is literally drawing round, I catch him off guard every time I pick the camera up, he doesn't know. Julian's going to draw around the uh, the last bits now, this is for the two bits uh, of the seats, the back bits. I'm eating a Subway, because I've had nothing to eat all day. It's teamwork, isn't it? So as we can see, a bit more done now from Julian. We're getting there, I mean, come on. Lee's literally just nipped in, you've, you've missed him off camera. He was, he was here that fast, he's come in, gone they look mint them and pissed off home again. So all that's left to do now for tomorrow, the headrests, which we may need to tweak, I say we, that's the royal we. Julian may need to tweak the pattern a little bit because they were a pain in the ass to get off them. There's a couple more bits of plastic to paint. Oh, the parcel shelf, we've got to do the parcel shelf. Obviously that's got to be done in black. These bits here where the RS4 is going to be there. But otherwise, I'm leaving Julian to it now and uh, I'm going to go home is that all right mate all good my friend we're having this conversation a lot aren't we yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to day five. It's Friday today. We're on the final straight now. We have nearly done. I'll tell you one thing that is good. Look at this. So you can't see this yet, but Julian is literally gluing. What's this bit on the back for? Well, it keeps the, uh, you know, the stamp uh, stay longer okay. on the seat, yeah. Because okay. when the, the sun hits yeah. the seat, yeah, could run off the... Got ya. Yeah. So just underneath here, can we show them... Just under here, quick. Yeah, but it's just. Uh... Ah, so it's not. Um, it's not on no, fully no, yet, not but it will be soon. Yeah. And it'll look a little bit like just like that, which is absolutely amazing. And that will then sit on that bit of the back seat. And there is the finished product. So that's obviously just going to get sewn into the centre bit of there now. And then that side's pretty much done. The only bit then left to do is the headrests, which you are really looking forward to the headrests, yeah, aren't you? You want to do them. Yeah, I love to do headrests. <laughs> so I'm nearly done with the paint now. There's one little bit. I'm really happy with how these are coming out, to be honest. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is the speaker uh, grill that goes on top of the parcel shelf. I don't quite know how this is going to come out because obviously it's got loads of tiny holes in it. So hopefully it'll be all right. Parcel shelf is here. This is going to be wrapped in Alcantara. Uh, Caesar and Julian very kindly said no black cloth for the B7, Alcantara and leather only so thank you very only much. Only premium uh, materials. <laughs> so over to where the real work is happening. This is where Julian now is stitching the plastic like clips to the, to the seats. This is the bit that you hate the most isn't it mate? So, right, Julian, one sec, one sec, one sec. Okay. So you're about to make that there look okay, like that. Yes. And that comes with an iron and steam and... Iron, steam, heat gun, and a lot of skills. <laughs> and I don't know about you, I have never heard of iron leather. So finally, Caesar's back. He's literally been on the road all day. Because I tried to find for you the special material. Yes, all right, let's have a look. Let's see. Man of taste with an Audi A6. This oh yeah. This is for you. This is for me. Let's see, let's see. That right there is the maddest thing we've ever seen. Iron in leather. Meanwhile, Caesar has got, come on. What's in here, what's in here? Let's go, let's go. What do you think? Well, I already know because you told me already, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if the audience at home know, I can't remember whether I've told them or not. Original Alcantara. Yes. Watch this. We're going to cover this one. Beautiful. You need to take this off first when you go over the top. No, no, we go over, over the top. Over the top, you yeah. glue. You use glue to stick it down. Yes. <laughs>
go. Parcel shelf, nicely wrapped in Alcantara. Got the speaker grill back on. Got the brake light assembly, painted in black. Perfect. What are we saying? Happy with that? <sighs> I'm happy I'm tired of this one. Good. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised because it's nearly 10 p.m. <laughs> and I'm going home now, mate. All right. All right. See you. See you soon. <laughs>